Good morning guys so no Bruce walk today well not this morning we are actually in the process of getting ready for work I just took some still pictures for you guys so good morning guys um, <laughs> take two I am in the process of getting dressed no walking this morning good morning guys take three yes this is the third time I've tried this, okay? So, with that being said, just wanted a update for you guys. I am not doing any walking this morning. We are going to go as a family this evening when the store gets closed. Um, my husband is laughing at me because this is the third time I've really tried to record this. And, you know, we're new to YouTube, so we are learning as we go. With that being said, I am down to 217 whoop whoop so what is that seven eight nine and nine days i am down 13 pounds so let's see how it continues to go i am so thankful i know i took some pictures to add in this video today and the pictures you know just the front side and back and when I look at them, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so fat still. But it's going to be okay because we're going to get through this. And when I tell you, though, the amazing part is I don't feel the way I look. I don't know if anybody knows exactly what I mean. Somebody has to relate to that. When you're losing weight, and then especially on this carnivore diet, it's so it's like doing this to your stomach. When I say I literally feel abs, you yeah, know, no, I don't have no abs in them pictures. But I promise you, it's like my stomach feels so tight on the inside because there's no bloating or anything like that. That's what I expect to see on the outside. It's not there yet. We're going to get there, guaranteed, and we're going to do it together. But I just wanted to make this video right quick, give you guys an update, that morning weight you guys it it is i'm not gonna lie it feels good to get on that scale and see that number drop but what you don't want to do is get defeated or feel like nothing is happening sometimes your body can lose inches and not necessarily lose pounds so you can't always look at that scale number as something to relate to or something as success and that's what you got to understand. If that, if you're one of those people that get defeated or you mentally just give up once you see that number is not changing, you need to throw that scale out. You got to be one of those people that weigh in like once a month. I'm not that person. So if I see the number staying the same because I'm, I'm becoming one with my body and I'm knowing that I feel feel such a difference and the other thing i was going to tell you guys every day almost almost every day guys i used to have a migraine like we have goodies um bc tylenol excedrin just for me and my migraines but since i have been on this diet i have not had one migraine and i brought that up to my husband I'm like babe you haven't heard me say oh my god my head hurts not once last week and going into this week that's unheard of for me like i hate going to the doctor but i was getting migraines so long 
and then they will last for such a long time and I would get them so often to the fact that I was like okay I need to go see a doctor about this and I did at one point and you know they tried to say well maybe it was stress or something but guys I don't know what it was but I'm telling you something has truly changed in my body and something I want to say right quick that I didn't bring up in my intro video um just because it was too long as it was and I forgot when I made my episode two so in this episode I did want to tell you guys being on the carnivore diet I ended up like I was at Publix getting some things and I ended up taking my blood pressure there it was 121 over 84 or 86 something like that they said it was high and of course I have the friend that told me about the carnivore diet initially and after doing research they both confirmed that that's normal what you don't want to do is if your blood pressure is high and you feel it or something is going on you're lightheaded it's making your body feel a certain type of way you want to stop but if you feel great like I do and your blood pressure is high that's normal that is your body adapting to the high protein that it's receiving so understand that don't let it scare you don't let it defeat you I just wanted to put that out there all right guys I will see you later you guys I am too excited to show you guys something look at this look at my head and look at this thing look at my water bottle that came in first off I just want to take time to whoever made this thank you because the precision precision on this thing is amazing first off look at this handle i love it it's so thick it's durable it can come off if you don't want it i want it because my hand is not that big to where i can hold this you guys this is a motivational gallon jug drinker for water I don't know nobody who's going to be drinking anything a gallon worth in one day. It should be water. And because I'm on the carnivore diet and all I drink is water, I needed this. When I saw this on Amazon, I was stoked. $20. Best investment ever. It says at 7 a.m., good morning. 9 a.m., hydrate yourself. 11 a.m., remember your goal. 1 p.m., keep chugging. 3 p.m., feeling awesome. 5 p.m., don't give up. 7 p.m., almost finished. And at 9 p.m., you did it. Guys, best birthday, early gift, birthday gift, thingamajigga ever. I just, I love it. Like, they have so many cool colors. Don't make the same mistake I made. It's called motivational one gallon jug. You should be able to find it under something like that. Motivational water. If I find the link, I will put it in the description. But guys, I ordered this yesterday, got it today. Thank you, Amazon, for one day delivery. Whoop, whoop. Now my husband wants one, but his won't get here until Thursday. But in saying that, amazing, cute colors. And they have a lot of different ones, but this was literally the only one with this type of handle. The other handles was real small. I just didn't like it. So when I saw this one, I just fell in love. And I love the color. It's just really cute. And on the other side, it just gives you the measurement like amazing and i'm going to try to drink one of these a day i know i'm gonna be on the toilet a lot but you know oh well i'm, I'm i hope my my fat come out with it okay so guys i just wanted to show you guys this i have never been so excited for a bottle in my life um but it feels good it, it's giving me that extra ump considering all i drink is water like we can do this. Remember that. We can do this. Alright guys. So we are finally off. The store is closed. And we are about to take a walk. Got the whole family this time. Come here dude. Got the whole family. 
So we're about to get in. Not about to do too too much. Yeah. But yeah. So guys, I'm gonna get this video up for you guys today. Show you my progress and let's get it. All right, well, we finished the walk. I cut it kind of short. I don't know exactly what we did. Didn't ask my husband, but I don't like being outside like that in the dark. It was getting dark and you know, it's 2020. Just can't trust people like that. But anywho, you guys will get this video tonight along with everything else just want to make mention today i ate a beef cookie or that's what the carnivores call it but it's really just beef a beef patty i ate that with probably maybe four four or five strips of bacon so that was my dinner for the day and drinking that water from that water bottle you guys sometimes you never know what little things may motivate you even more. I know that bottle really did it for me. It may seem minute to some other people, but it's not about other people opinions all the time. It's about what works for you and it works for me. So stay tuned to episode four on tomorrow.